so, Jane? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to be wearing this as part of our presentation in America, aren't I? Yeah, I think we want we do want to take it, but we've discovered a bit of a problem, which we knew was a problem ages ago, but because we haven't used this kirtle for a long time, we forgot it was a problem. We did. And it's one of those things that as soon as we started to do it, we went, oh yeah, this is going to be a right pain. <laughs> Especially when we're doing some sort of dressing demonstration, we don't want things that are fiddly. Yeah, so and it's re it. it's really fiddly. So what it is, is these eyelets actually, they're quite nicely made, look. They're quite pretty, but they've been stitched using a buttonhole stitch. So what it means is that they the hole is kind of tightened up and when you try and get your, your lace with the aidlet on it in and out, uh, some of them are okay and some of them are really like you really yeah, have to takes... wiggle it through and it's yeah it's not nice and it seems doubly difficult when you're in the middle of a presentation you think i'm never going to get this aglet through this flipping hole yeah and that's not it's not good when you're trying to think what what do we what do we want to talk about in this presentation <laughs> yeah um so you very sensibly suggested why don't we just take this opportunity to take out the stitching on these eyelets and do them properly mm. because actually I have previously um, talked about the fact that we didn't used to understand how crucially important it is not to use things like hole punches yeah where you break the threads that is really important and actually that isn't the problem here these holes have been forced with a stiletto something like this um, but then in stitching them with a buttonhole stitch it's tightened up the hole yeah so um so the point of using this is that as you press it through the fabric you're parting the threads you're not exactly. breaking them you're going and in the, between the weave and pushing yeah. them apart so it might take a bit longer than punching a hole but it means that you're putting longevity into the the fastening basically yeah. aren't you okay so then the idea really of once you you forced your hole in all the stitches need to do is keep that hole open yeah. So we've forced the hole, so then we just want to whip stitch it in a really simple way. And we nearly always use unbleached linen thread, regardless of the colour. So this is a black worsted and it's quite mm. tempting to find a black yeah. thread. But I mean, you can, you can find um, dyed linen thread or even silk thread. But and, and at the time we know that certain threads were famous, like Coventry thread was blue, or is it Cologne thread was blue? Um, and our, our modern aesthetic would be to hide the stitching, wouldn't it? It would. Whereas what we've seen more often is this contrasting natural thread. What would be really helpful would be to have a needle. That would be a really good <laughs> idea. I think um, I think we just ran this through the wax without maybe explaining that. Um, well, you did it. I just sat here and watched you do it. But. Um, it's a good idea. Well, it's essential, isn't it, that with all linen thread to run it through the wax so that it's coated. It helps strengthen it. Helps it not. Again, it's longevity, isn't it? It keeps the threads together. Yeah. So they don't. What's the word I want? They don't. They kind of start, fray and fluff. They can fray as you're sewing with them if yeah. you don't put the wax in, um, and also they're more likely to to wear as you're using using mm. the eyelet hole. So you're going to do a lot of these, aren't right. you? But, well, yeah. I did. So I did I'm volunteer, gonna... but I realise it might take me. 20 times longer than you. So we've literally got our hole, which is nice and open now. And instead of doing a buttonhole stitch, we're literally going to... I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay. And then you're going to start doing it and I'll get the camera and put it really close so that other people can see. Okay. So sometimes when you do eyelets in like really nice thin fabric, like say you were doing it in the cuff of a smock or something like that, you can uh, yeah. angle the needle through in one go. You don't have to put it all the way around the other side. Sometimes you can do it in something nice and light, like a worsted like this. There's quite a few layers there, aren't there? There are at quite least a few the layers. the lining as well as the worsted. Yeah, and the, and the seam allowance that's sort of turned back yeah. at the edge. Um, so oft, more often than not, you do have to take it all the way through the other side. Right. And back again. But I'm going to be using a thimble for this procedure. Well, that's the thing, actually. If you're going to do that method where you put it in and out, you will almost certainly need a mm. thimble because you're pushing with your finger all the time. Yeah. Whereas if you take it through and back again, you're not really having to push so much. But, you know, you find your own way with these yeah. things. And 
you want it to be regular and even, but they're not they're not always things of beauty eyelets. No. They're very functional parts of a garment. Yeah. So All right. you have a go and then I'll um That's the other bit of thread that we ran through the wax. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty pretty hard, heavy duty. And you want to pull it quite tight each yeah. time because remember the whole thing that you're trying to do is to open up away. the hole yeah. constantly. Not to go too far around the circle in one go. I, think, I guess using the wax really helps with pulling on the thread as well. You sort of feel it's much firmer, don't you? Yeah. yeah Whereas it when it's not got it. wax on it, it's, I don't know, it feels, it feels less. It feels weaker, I think. Crumble's come to help. Look. Mm, thanks, hey. Crumble. Crumble, are you any good at eyelets? <laughs> well, I haven't had to resort to the thimble yet. It, the hole doesn't really look like it's getting big enough for the egglet yet, though. No, well, actually, that is one thing I'd say. Don't put your stitches too close together because oh, okay. you can actually start filling the hole in a little bit. Yeah, we don't want to do that. No. This kirtle was actually made for the Queen's servant. So what year was that? Do you remember? Oh, gosh. I always guess wrong. If I say 2009, did, did it come out before the Tudor Child? The Tudor, I think the Tudor Child was 2011. I don't know. Or was that 2009? <laughs> Who knows? This is the trouble, isn't it? We've done so many different projects together. It's really hard. It's, it's really hard to remember what happened when. It's all a big Tudor blur. Yeah, it is a big Tudor blur, but I do remember wearing this for the photo shoot for the Queen's Servants in Caroline's Ch Methodist Church Hall. Mm. And it was quite dark. Do you remember there was, there was, it was really murky light. Well, I wasn't there. I think I was having a baby or something. So that would be at no. least 15 years ago. <laughs> you must have been there because we photographed you in the... Um, Oh, for the photo shoot. Yeah, Sorry, I thought you meant yeah, there was yeah. a presentation, wasn't there, that I wasn't? Yeah. No, I was thinking about the um, the photo shoot we did at the Methodist Church. Yes. And it was really dark. I guess Henrietta did those photographs for us. And you, you wore the, the violet. Was it violet? Mm. The rocker. The rocker. Not as in mods and rockers. No, baby rocker. A rocker baby of the rocker. babies. That's right. And I, I was wearing this with my great pixie hat which I don't suppose I'll be wearing my pitchy, pixie hat in America because it's the wrong era, isn't it? Yeah, we're going late Elizabethan, so yeah. this garment is going to have had a long journey through the 16th century. It is. So <laughs> I, possibly my the person I'm representing, we're going to have to say, it's either made over from her mother's or she's had it a very long time herself. Right, I seem to have made those stitches a bit smaller than on the other side. You know, they're, yeah. they're not as long. So it's looking particularly asymmetrical, which, as you know, doesn't doesn't sit well with me. So I think I'll just put one long stitch there <laughs> to make it a bit more. It's one of those things that when you, de you don't tend to do <clears throat> ever do just one or two eyelets, you tend to do a whole load of them. And the more yeah. you do, the more regular they become because you get into your flow. Ah, uh, right, yeah. Um. Do we think we'll try it? Should we just try putting the egglet through and see? No, it won't work yet because it will be too tight. We have You're to use right. the stiletto again. So what you want to oh, do is finish okay. off your stitch. So make right. a stitch, go back in. This way? Yeah. Yeah. And then go back down again. Like you're just making through like the a, hole? No, oh, into the actual, into the that right through the fabric, just through to the other side. So you're just making like, it's almost like a little back stitch through the layers. Then tie a knot as close as you can to the actual fabric. So hold it down with your nail as you tighten it up. Oops. Then put the needle back in to lose the end of that thread. Just sort of slide it through the layers a little way. Away from the eye a bit more. Put the needle in for a bit longer. It's quite hard to get it through this way. It's surprising how tough it is now that it's got all those stitches 
running through it. Yeah, it is tough. Yeah. Ow! That might have been a thimble moment. <laughs> okay, and then snip it off. Then you need to take the stiletto again. And... Okay. Push it as, hard, as far in as you can. Be really forceful. This is where my poor arthritic thumbs are not much help. That's probably fine. Because that should now be again. a lot fatter than the egglet. So now try yeah. the egglet in Ooh, there look again. At that. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yeah, look, Yay. that's going to be a cinch. Okay, so now we just need to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, Seven, eight, twenty-four, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-three 12. more times. Oh, great.